once again, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for what you've done in our lives. Just be glorified and be exalted. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that's cleansed us from all sins. Thank you for your word, Jesus. We were talking the other time about bearing record of the word of God. And John, revelation of Jesus Christ, chapter 1, verse 2 says, Who oh, bear record of the word of God? Everything you're reading, everything you know, be a record. Be a record. You will be in a good position to witness that. It's going to help you and strengthen you when you meet with other people. And you're just going to tell them, and you've got to pray about that. It's something you have to do, and I have to pray about that. And say, just, and, 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 and say to God, I need an experiential knowledge. I, think I need this one to be recorded. Let me be a record. Let me be a good witness of the same. And not just that, to be a record of the testimony of Jesus Christ. And so that shows you Jesus had a lot of tests. And then he passed all those tests. And you have a testimony. The testimony of Jesus Christ. What is the testimony of Jesus Christ? The testimony of Jesus Christ is eternal life. It's salvation. He has come to give us eternal life. And, and I'll tell you something. He gave it to us. He gave it to us. He gave it to us by dying for us on the cross of Calvary. By loving us while we are unlovable. He loves us while we are yet sinners. Hey, who for the joy that was set before him endure the sufferings, despise the shame, and it was set down at the right hand of God the Father. So, that was a testimony. Say, you know one thing, I'm not going to react, I'm not going to act, I know what I came for. I came for this bunch, and I'm going to get them to heaven. Look at the testimony. You that you're watching me right now, you are a testimony of Jesus Christ. I am that I'm talking right now. I'm a testimony of Jesus Christ. Before, we were lost. Old Testament said, we were lost. Nobody can get to the Father. We were just on the interim, you know, kept somewhere. We were without God in this world. We are hopeless. Even, you know, the natural... Um, uh, the family of Jesus Christ, the Jews, who need Jesus to be saved. But today is a new story entirely. We are saved. So Jesus can say, hey guys, look at it. Look at it. You, you know, you are the reason why they, they gave me 39 stripes that day. They pluck up my hair. They spat on me. They do all kinds of things. Thank God that I waited that time. Thank God that I didn't go for alternative. I remember when I was at the, uh, the Garden of Gethsemane, when I was talking to God, I was saying, God, hey, is there any other way can i reroute can i do this thing another way and god said no other way i remember that time when the father you know uh, forsook me with the hope the hope the hope the hope the hope of the fact that he's going to give everyone to me everyone that believed they will belong to jesus and he's going to give me a name above every other name that's my testimony. Hey, listen to me. What's your testimony? You are complaining too much. You are not resolved in the fact that Jesus is Lord. You need somebody else to convince you that Jesus is alive. Hmm? That's why you are not saying testimony. You still want something to appear to you in the heavens, like this little ball coming down, this little shapey stuff, and say, hey, I'm Jesus. You, you know, when, when, you, when you're looking for that, you're going to get into trouble. Simple faith, so you can have a testimony. The testimony of Jesus Christ. What God promised, knowing for the Father, He cannot lie. If God said, He cannot lie. That was why Jesus has a testimony. Who be a record of the Word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ. You are a testimony of Jesus Christ. I'm a testimony of Jesus Christ. And of all things that He saw, of all things, that is all is going to be a record of what he saw. Hey, let's end with that. Continue from there. What have you seen? You have read. You have heard. You have written down. It has been. It has been shown to you. I think. I think we are waiting for something that we've seen. This changes in that which we have heard. We have. We have, we have seen the word of life which our hands have had. You can doubt what you hear. Maybe you don't hear it right. Maybe it's an echo. You can even make a mistake in what you wrote down. But you 
cannot doubt what you see. You'll be the only one telling everybody, I saw this thing. I was a witness. I saw the man enter the car. People say, no, nobody, I saw it. I saw these things. And you see it with the eye of your spirit. Lord Jesus, let everyone watching see that they've been redeemed. Let them see that they are rich. Let them see that they are healed. Let them see that you are with them. Let them see that you love them. Let them see that you have a plan for them. Let them see that they have a glorious destiny. Let them see that they will be the one that you will use. That they will be the one that you will use to reach out to the nations of the earth. Let them see that they are breadwinners to the nations of the earth. Let them see that they are overcomers. Let them see that they are victorious. Let them see that they are on top and they can never be beneath. We think we give you praise and let them be a record. Let them be a record of the testimony of Jesus Christ all over the nations of the earth. Take all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen.